Hi friends, I welcome all of you. Uh, previously, we discussed about EC2, S3, Glacier, and Route 53. Now we will discuss about uh, VPC, that is Virtual Private Cloud. Let me mark it in so that it is visible to you. This is the one I am going to discuss. VPC, RDS, DynamoDB, and this particular identity and access management that is IAM okay this is what we are going to learn in this chapter so what is VPC its uh, full name is virtual private cloud okay I'll tell you why did we need to have this kind of environment in cloud okay let's talk about EC2 that is a virtual machine and in Amazon web services we call it EC2 instance earlier we used to or initially initially we used to expose EC2 to public internet let me take you to the plain page so when some time ago like many years ago we used to expose EC2 instance to public internet okay this is public internet which is kind of a highly insecure network we did have security available like security group I can create security group and add a rule in that rule mean access list that is for example to permit IP address this one to access this particular EC2 over TCP 23 that is telnet and rest deny then this one will be permitted and this one is denied this was the earlier thing which we used to do so why did we need VPC actually many people complained that uh, it is uh, a little complex and insecure okay because you have to add root rule for every every IP address or group of IP addresses and they gave they told that in the traditional IT we used to create kind of isolated environment using physical wiring so then VPC was introduced virtual private cloud okay so what will happen in that in VPC will uh, will move EC2 into a subnet subnet is a range of IP address for example this is my range 10.1.1.1 till this is my range okay so I have assigned EC2 into this particular subnet and then I will define one availability zone for it for example Tokyo so availability zone is defined now I have two options either I want to make it public or not public if I want to make this subnet as public exposed to public then uh, this subnet will be known as public subnet this is the definition of public subnet when in VPC cloud you expose particular subnet where uh, means EC2 instance subnet to public internet then that will be known as public subnet so if you don't want to do it or you want to keep it unreachable from internet then this will be known as private subnet so this is cloud means you have created an isolated environment this is a VPC for you for example if you have hosted your database into cloud you would not want it to be exposed to public internet then you will think of creating a VPC environment and there you will create a private subnet okay so this is VPC and next is uh, 
RDS, you know. What is RDS? Relation Database Service. So what is this service? What does this do? So it's a kind of managed service, managed relational database service for for MySQL. See, these are the services mentioned here. So it provides services for MySQL, Postgres, Oracle, SQL Server, and Amazon Aurora. This is proprietary of AWS. Okay, this is. And what is the Dynamo database? Dynamo DB. It's a managed no SQL service. They have given it a name, no SQL data store. It's a managed no SQL service, which uses the proprietary engine of AWS. It is named as no SQL engine. Okay, and it is compatible with MySQL. Sorry, it is not. Uh, I'm not sure if it's compatible with that or not. But this uh, Aurora is compatible with MySQL. Okay, it's a proprietary. So these are the databases which are provided, which are available for you in AWS. Because the main objective of RDS is to you know automatically handle backup, scaling, master standby replication, read replicas, database version updates, and security patches. So this is the main functionality of databases for you. So we have discussed this particular database. So let's move into IAM, that is Identity and Access Management. It's a very simple thing. It means you need to provide security for the team member which has access to cloud. Because when you log in for the first time in cloud, AWS, you will be, uh, you know, you will be given a username as root. You do not need to give it to anyone or you don't need to use it because you know it's very common. So better create individual IDs, individual username for every colleague. This is what happens in any every company. For example, you know, in when you log in into Cisco, the by default username is Cisco, we delete it. And uh, in if you are aware of the switch environment, by default uh, VLAN is VLAN one. We used to shut it down because people knew that VLAN one is the default VLAN. All right. So this is the identity and access management IAM. So let's review it. We discussed about VPC, which is virtual private cloud. We discussed about databases, which are uh, provided as a service like RDS relation database service, DynamoDB, which is, uh, you know, no SQL. Uh, database service which uses the engine of AWS which is proprietary and then IAM identity and access management so I hope that it's been informative to you thank you